and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis and I'll be replying to as many comments as I can in the first 15 minutes of these episodes going live. So enable notifications on your YouTube app to get these videos first. After his clean loss at WWE Fastlane to the big show earlier this week, following months of ineffectual booking, people are starting to wonder whether someone's got it in for Rusev backstage. It's just the latest rumor in his and Lana's WWE career. Back in 2015, the ravishing Russian reportedly brought heat on the couple backstage when their real life engagement went public, while they were involved in a love triangle storyline with Dolph Ziggler. Then she had a badly received Twitter bust up with Paige. Rusev is also no stranger to honest remarks on Twitter. He's gently poked fun at WWE booking decisions in the past, like the amount of matches Chris Jericho and Roman Reigns had earlier this year, and most recently wishing Jack Swagger well after the All American American requested his WWE release. There's a rumor that tweet is behind Rusev's fast lane loss. Maybe it'd all be different if he just listened to Dusty Rhodes. On Rusev and Lana's recent Talk is Jericho podcast appearance, the Bulgarian brute revealed the American Dream's original plan for his character. He tried to make me a genie. Baby, I see you with that new gear. You look like a genie. I want you to work with that Russian chick, Anya, and she's gonna, baby, rub the lamp and you're gonna pop up here. He made me do genie promos for the next three weeks. Going by the first post-WrestleMania 33 announced matches for WWE's live events, however, he might have a top-level program in his future. The Providence Rhode Island show on the 14th of April currently has the New Day versus Sheamus and Cesaro versus Enzo and Cass versus Gallows and Anderson, Banks and Bailey versus Nia Jax and Charlotte, suggesting Sasha isn't turning heel anytime soon, Rich Swan versus Neville, Jericho versus Owens, Reigns versus Strowman, Big Show versus Jinder Mahal, Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn, and here's the big one, Finn Balor versus Rusev. Apart from the last matchup, that's all depressingly similar to the feuds we've had on TV for months. Live event listings like this can sometimes reveal the direction WWE storylines will take on television. But the card is also subject to change. For instance, there's no Seth Rollins on there at all. It does fit in with the usual WrestleMania rematches WWE like to do in the month following their biggest show of the year though. Especially going by the confirmed Postmania pay-per-view names Payback for Raw on April the 30th and SmackDown's Backlash on May the 21st. Following that, WrestleZona also reporting that Raw will have Extreme Rules on June the 4th and SmackDown are getting money in the bank on the 18th of June. It'll be interesting to see where the brand ratings war is by that point in the year. SmackDown bounced back from last week's average of 2.566 million viewers, an episode that went up against President Donald Trump's Congress address, to another strong 2.738 million. In that post-WrestleMania live event listing, Big Show is advertised in a match against Jinder Mahal. A far cry from his long reported, but now in doubt, WrestleMania special attraction bout with Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq revealed earlier this week that talks are back on between him and WWE, and Big Show has let the basketball star know this is their last chance to go at it when talking to Yahoo Sports. I know I'm done February 2018. That's when my contract ends as a full-time live event guy. We'll see what happens after that, whether I roll into an ambassador role or what WWE has for me. This goes further than Big Show's comments to Sporting News last week where he only said, I don't know if there will be an opportunity for me next year at WrestleMania or not. WrestleMania? More like Shootermania? John Cena, Daniel Bryan and The Miz's Smackdown Live feud is now using some very real material. And learn more about Rusev's backstage heat and the strange Jack Swagger WWE release situation by clicking the videos to the left and subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.